What's the word, y'all? Quickie, quickie, quickie. My door is even open. That, that's how quick. We just had a trade, which is super unfortunate. The only reason I'm saying that, I know trade season is here, and I'm excited that we got trades. But I just filmed a 40-minute video talking about every single NBA team. And in that video, you go, it's going to still come out tomorrow, but I wanted it to come out today. In that video, I said, if the, if the Trailblazers don't make at least three trades, I'm going to be disappointed. I didn't expect them to get uh, scraps for Dorm Powell. And Robert, Co Robert Covington ain't been good this season. But Norm Powell, and now you know what everybody's talking about. Listen, the trade, literally, the trade happened three minutes ago. But my mentions, you know, I, I got to quote every single trade that come down. And I said, Clip Gang and Don't Bang, because it feels like they just finesse the Trailblazers. You got to think about, they traded Norman Powell. Bro has been dropping 30 pieces regularly at the age of 23 for Norm Powell. Who got similar type money once the offseason came around, and then they flipped Norman Powell for, for Keon Johnson in a second. Now I understand, again, they're doing it for cap flexibility. I understand. This is a this is a trade that we got to look at depending on what they do in the offseason with that cap flexibility. Because now they might make a trade to get off of CJ. We don't really know. Um, uh, Nurkic is up for an extension slash hitting the free agency. Norman Powell was one of their few long-term contracts on the books. So this opened things up. Who want to come to the Blazers to play with, with Damian Lillard next season? That's basically what this trade is. But for the Clippers, listen, in my video that will come out tomorrow, I, I, again, I talked about how the Clippers, for me, felt like a team that was a mid-major slash college team because you didn't really know who was going to be the one to take off night in and night out. And now they just increase their, their depth at these wing positions, bro. Crazy. I, I, I don't even know what, what, what to think other than that. I just feel like the Clippers are nice. Er, nicer than what they were. Norman Powell this season had his ups and his downs, but I think we can all agree Norman Powell is a good NBA player. He's been a dude that's been 6'3", that has been slotted into that small four position. But if you think about when they are healthy come next season, whether you know what I'm saying? Because Tyron Lue just yesterday after their win against the Lakers said they're prepared to not have Kawhi Leonard for the entire season. So we're thinking about big picture next season. Norman Powell will probably go back to his natural position of a shooting guard. Now I want to quickly, while we're, we're, while we're here, type in Portland Trailblazer um uh cap or or salaries yeah that's what i'm talking about because i think that was legitimately the only long term con long term contract yes so you got cj who's left with his 35 million or 33 million next year norman powell who they just traded dame 44 larry nance has makes 9 million next year but then you got anthony simons who has the the team option and then you have same thing with azir little after this so they did this for cap flexibility makes sense but on the surface on the just the surface this trade looks really, really bad. Um, you, you, we're gonna, we're gonna have to wait. We're going to have to wait to see what else they could potentially do. But if we get to the off season and they don't have anybody willing to come in of significant value, you think about Gary Trent Jr. And it's, it's gonna be, I'm telling you, it's gonna be hard not to continue to look at that trade as what it is right now because you flipped them for cap flexibility and Keon Johnson and and a guy that's in high school right now, a second round pick that's in high school right now. And cl I close my close my door because I know I'm being loud in here because I, I I'm kind of you know what I'm saying. I'm just happy. That a trade happened. You feel me? I'm just happy that a trade happened because it felt like a year that we might not get nothing or it was going to all come on the last day. And in the last day, I won't even be at home to film. So I'm trying to take every camera I got, the microphones I got to San Francisco to film in a hotel room that's going to have poor lighting and poor Wi-Fi. But I got to do what I got to do. Work must go on. I want to go to the, the Portland Trailblazers subreddit because I just, I know... They they own the lowest of lows, and you know what? I should not be laughing at at, a, at NBA fans, but they probably did the lowest of the low. All right, let's see. I also hate, and I made a tweet right after it happened. I also hate that um, Justice Winslow had to be a part of this trade because he just had the game the other night against, I think it was the Hall. No, it, who was it? Lamelo Ball and company. And in his post game interview, he's basically talking about how it feels like a family here. And they traded his ass a week, less than a week later. But what we've learned about the Clippers is that they, they are a team about business. Whether it be with Blake Griffin, they are a team about their business. Whether you like it or not, the NBA is a business. All right, where's the where's the subreddit I'm looking for? <sighs> Wolch. 
the Clippers are trading. Well, you know what the trade is by this point, right? Okay. I'm done. What the f is this trade? What the? Not even a first. I'm so done. Now, that is crazy. Not getting the first round pick is actually crazy. So, Gary Trent Jr. and two first round picks for a measly second round. Did they really? Okay, I got to go back to the Gary Trent trade. I didn't realize that they also threw first round picks in that. I'm sorry. I got to go look at it. Oh, because they traded two first round picks for Robert Covington, y'all. And they just flipped Robert Covington for nothing. I don't understand how this is justifiable. Like for most trades, you could say some stupid stuff about cap to cope. But what? Even if you're smoking crack, th thought Norm was a bad contract. He actually values a player. I agree. I think Norman contract, uh, Norman contract, Norman Powell at a seventeen million dollar contract is about what he deserves. I feel like that's one of the better slash normal contracts in the entire NBA. But this just tells me to try to think big picture, which might not be the greatest thing. Because when is the Portland Trailblazers ever signed anybody? You know what I'm saying? Ever? I'll miss Norm's attitude so much. What the f? Truly see no purpose to this, but all right. Massive, incredible L. What the F is going on? Like, that's, I think that most people agree. Um, Crazy. Like, you know what? Let's go see what the Clippers are up to. They might be up there on cloud nine. Clip gang of don't bang. What's your name? LA Clippers. Great. LA Clippers. Let's welcome Norm Powell and Robert Covington to the Clippers. They already ready, ladies and gentlemen. All right, um, Robert Covington, or Covington and Powell to the Clips for a steal, but this one has most of the, not Keon, okay. I met Keon, he was a cool kid. Um, I say kid because I'm older than him, but not by that much. He's a cool dude, um, but if you're thinking about the overall ceiling of your team, once things get healthy, this is a trade that Keon has to be a sacrifice for. Because if you go to the point where you traded everything in your power for Paul George and got Kawhi Leonard too, and you don't end up winning the championship, you know what I'm saying? So this is a trade that makes 100% sense that you trade a guy that was either a late first round or early second. I don't even remember where Keon Johnson got traded or uh, uh, drafted. Maybe Kawhi and PG have a good chance to return. Didn't think about it like that, but I doubt it. But I didn't think about it like that. Powell next to Kawhi and PG is going to be excellent. I mean, I want to go look at Norman Powell's like catch and shoot numbers because on this team, he's going to be able to defend another guard, catch and shoot, and occasionally get you like a real bucket. Look at, look at this. 42.3% overall and on threes bro shoot 44 percent on catch and shoot threes if you got paul george and kawhi setting you up the these is this is this is really good so i guess we're going back to back the video that i filmed today is going to have to come out tomorrow maybe there's more trades to talk about whenever we get a trade expect me to do a quick hit of reaction because hey nba trade season y'all